A goat on the lamb, the month-long search turning into a mystery around Knightstown. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall went to check it all out and has the shocking twist you'll only see here on WRTV. Welcome to Knightstown. Small town, USA. The kind of town everybody knows everybody. Step inside Birch Tree Diner. They each have their own individual unique story. The town's gossip has been sounding a bit different these days. Might be the biggest story in Knightstown. Because in this small town. Every little town needs something to get it all stirred up. There's something. That's just what happens when you live in a small town. That's got them buzzing. I think the mystery of where he's came from intrigues people. Has brought a lot of happiness and uh, a lot of uh, interest among all of us. And it's not just spreading from mouth to mouth. Cut your grass for free. <laughs> it's basically going viral on social media. Well, he's here. And no, this infamous thing isn't Bigfoot. The talk of the town in Knightstown, Indiana is a goat that's been free ranging through the town. You heard that right. We get excited about cute little goats. And it's one goat. I think there's been any names yet. That some people have seen. Others who think it doesn't exist. I saw a couple, uh, I'm going to call them wannabe cowboys. Yesterday, they had on their cowboy hats and their rope like they were going to rope him. They were grinning from ear to ear. The police department says they've gotten more than 100 calls about the goat, flooding the 911 call center. The goat frenzy also sparked safety concerns on US 40. Police feared drivers would stop to look for the goat and cause a crash. They think it escaped from the sale barn a month ago. Where is the goat? We set out on a mission to try and find it ourselves. This is apparently where the goat has been living. Find the goat! Where are you? Can you please come out? The goat has been spotted under the bridge on US 40 heading into town. What do you say to a goat to try to get it to come to you? Minutes of searching turned to hours. I don't know if we're ever going to find this goat. Nobody can catch it. Maybe goat sounds will do the trick. <laughs> Maybe it's sleeping somewhere. How cool is this little town? Because when you get up in the morning, when you live in a big city or wherever, you know, you're thinking about, okay, let's get on TV or Facebook and let's see who shot who last night or is it safe to go outside? The only thing we have to worry about is where our little goat's at today and what everybody's saying. And just as we were about to give up on our goat hunt, the Henry County Livestock Officer shows up with this, the infamous goat. From here, he will be taken to his rightful home in Knightstown. Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. Bad little goat there. He's on like, the run. listen, my adventure's done now. <laughs> that's, that's it. Can't wait to tell you about a cat stuck in a tree tomorrow. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, the goat has been named Henry, by the way, and he was found in a neighbor's garage about a mile down the road from the bridge that he'd been seen at. <laughs> the talk of the town, for All sure. All right, right, Henry, <laughs> get back.